In the second episode of the Soft Electronics series for Modern Automatic Transmissions, we'll present to you the mechatronic structure and operation. We'll briefly review its diagnostics, maintenance, and repair. The mechatronic is the control center of the gearbox. Its task is to manage the torque converter and the clutch packs in the gearbox via the transmission fluid under specific pressure. It consists of three main components. Control unit, valve body, solenoids. The control unit collects and analyzes data about the current condition of the mechatronics and fluid via speed sensors, temperature sensors, and pressure sensors. From the gathered information, the control unit optimizes and executes the program for gear changing and, at the same time, monitors for errors in the electronics and mechanics. The solenoids are electrohydraulic valves and are the executive elements of the control unit in the mechatronic. Their role is to manage the hydraulic valves in the valve body by letting in transmission fluid under specific pressure. In modern automatic transmissions, the solenoids work on a higher frequency which helps for faster gear changing. The valve body is responsible for the hydraulic control in the automatic transmission. Its role is to manage the fluid flow to the various sections of the gearbox and the torque converter. It consists of the following components. Plates with fluid paths and valve seats. Gasket with gaps on specific places. Hydraulic valves. Springs plastic and metal balls. In the upper plate is the manual valve, which determines whether the car is in parking, drive, neutral, or reverse position. The fluid pump is firmly attached to the crankshaft of the engine via the torque converter housing. Because of this, the fluid which is fed from the pump to the mechatronic has variable pressure depending on the revolutions of the engine. For the proper work of the automatic transmission, it's necessary to have constant and invariable working pressure. That's why, when entering the valve body, the fluid pressure is first regulated by a specific valve. After that, depending on the program execution of the control unit, various hydro valves open or close the fluid paths in the plates of the valve body, letting in fluid under pressure. These canals are connected to the clutch packets in the gearbox and torque converter. The most common defects occurring in the control unit are The computer control of the solenoids may be incorrect and during diagnostics, various error codes may periodically be stored as regards their work. One or more sensors can get faulty or the data from them may be implausible. Electronic components on the main board may be damaged Errors can appear in the software program of the gear change control due to incorrect data. The most common problem in the valve body is the appearance of gaps between the valve seats and the valves under normal wear. The presence of particles or elements not part of the composition of the transmission fluid can also lead to rapid wear. Defects in the mechatronic can also appear due to a problem in the automatic transmission in general. Until that issue is resolved, the mechatronic will continue to break down. In the soft electronic workshop, vehicles can get proper diagnostics, maintenance, and repair of the components in the mechatronic. If the automatic transmission is diagnosed with a problem in the electronics, the mechatronic must be dismantled from the gearbox and the control unit separated from the valve body. After that, it proceeds to the soft electronic laboratory where it's fully inspected. The client is informed on the status of the unit and the repair costs. Upon the client's approval, the necessary procedures are performed to have the mechatronic restored to its factory specifications. Sometimes the defect cannot be eliminated. In that case, Soft Electronic can offer a reconditioned unit, which will be prepared for the relevant vehicle. Only a small percentage of the different solenoid models can be repaired. In most cases, after a defect, they're replaced with new ones. If a mechanical defect in the automatic transmission is determined during the overall diagnostics, the mechatronic is then scheduled for dismantling and inspection of all mechanical components, which includes the valve body, gearbox, and torque converter. 
The valve body is sent to the specialized department for maintenance, and if needed, a repair is carried out. It's disassembled into its composite elements, and after that, a test for the presence of antifreeze in the transmission fluid is performed. The oil passages in the plates are visually inspected for residue and solid foreign particles. After these procedures, the valve body is cleaned up. If after the dismantling there are residues and solid particles in the valve body, then there's a serious problem in some of the mechanical parts of the automatic transmission, and it needs to be located and eliminated. To determine whether there's wear in the valve seats, two tests are performed. The first one is by a vacuum machine, performed manually for each valve. The second test is carried out on specialized, high-tech stands, which simulate the pressure and hard-working temperature of the valve body in real conditions. The correct or incorrect operation of each valve is determined with the help of charts. Soft Electronic is the only company in the Balkans and one of the few in the world which owns two of the best stands for mechatronic testing. If the tests pass successfully, the valve body is assembled to the control unit and the mechatronic is mounted in the gearbox. If the tests show deviation from the working parameters of the valves, this could be due to wear of the valve or the valve seat. Correction of the valve seat must be made if such wear is available. The process is also called reaming. With a specialized set of reamers, the damaged valve seat is processed so that the new hydro valve can be installed, which is of a larger repair size. That process can be applied to each worn out opening, but only once. Repeating the procedure on a previously repaired opening may result in malfunctioning of the automatic transmission. After the problem is eliminated, the mechatronic is once again tested on the specialized stands. If the tests pass successfully, the valve body is assembled to the control unit and the mechatronic is mounted in the gearbox. Results from the tests are provided to the client. For more information, please visit our website at softelectronic.com or contact our department for automatic transmissions at the listed phone numbers.